What is up guys? Today we are going to be doing the part two. Today we're going to be going down to check my crawdad trap. I don't get bit by a snake. I'm doing this early in the morning. Because it's supposed to get bad today. Hopefully we got something. Sorry about that. I'm just picking off where I picking up where I left off yesterday. I see the trap. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get this rope off and we'll see if we got anything in the trap. I do believe I see some around it. There are a whole bunch of little tiny babies around it. Okay. Oh. Pick up the trap. I definitely see one on it. So that's a good sign. I definitely see some around it. And we do have life. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? We just had a giant. Oh, we got another big one. Yeah, boy. I mean, we would have had two big ones. Come down here, bud. Look at that. Got a nice big one right there. We're going to throw this back. I mean, I might do another video tomorrow. Sorry for the late video. Part one. If I can get this thing undone. Here we go. I don't know how these dang things are getting out because I just had a big one get away. I had a giant one get out yesterday. I'm doing this rope so I can get my crawdads out. And I'm just going to throw them back so they can get bigger. But sometime I'll do a catch and cook for you guys. Fish and crawfish. Hopefully, need to get my GoPro going. Hopefully this guy doesn't pinch me. I'll let the little one pinch me though. Come here. I'm trying to get it. Let that one go. I'll let this big one go too. I do not want to pick him up. Oh my goodness. Get back here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Feisty little sucker. Dang, boy. Got some meat. We're gonna let this guy go. Oh, say goodbye. Well, I'm gonna go and get some more bait. My Juliet. Put down in the comments what I should use for bait next time and what I should use to uh, and what I should do in my next video. I'll check them in a couple days and I'll give you guys a report on the video. Okay, we're gonna go inside and get some dog food. my grandma's house. Okay. 
Juliet. Well, she's not going to come out with us again. That was a feisty crowd. I'm going to go rebase it. I might do a part three. You never know. I might check it later today. Actually, that's, that, I think I'm going to do that. That's not a bad idea. Tell me in the comments if I should do a part four. I need a bigger trap. There. Got our dog food. Now we just gotta tie it. Now we just gotta tie the lid back on. I've had this trap way too long. And it's old, so it's not a good, very good trap. The dog's over there barking at me. Here we go. And get that to right about there. I'm gonna go back through this hole. And I'm trying to keep it to where they can't get out. I have not been doing a very good job doing that. I'm just a rookie after this. <laughs> go up and through. Up. There we go. And up. Come on. And I will do a catch and cook sometime for you guys this summer or spring. I just don't know when. I'd love to do one right now, but my grandpa's not home. Because he's got to do the thing where you get the crawdads boiling. Because I'm not allowed to mess with propane. Mm. There. Why oh, is that tight? Yes, it is. I will do another part. I promise. Where I will get more crawdads. Been catching big ones in this one spot. Don't know why. And if you want me to try this big pond by me, tell me down in the comments. Chance Aldi, I know you'll comment to, on my video. Now I'll throw this trap in the water. I'm trying to get a tripod going. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see. Where I'm about to throw it in the water. About to throw it in the water. Right there. Hold on just a second. There we go. Trap is set. Go ahead and tie it around this so nobody will get it. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And yes, I did. I do believe I changed my name. And please watch my next video. Watch all of them, please, because it really helps me out. And thank you for watching this. Bye.